Let's go. Detroit balling. It's part of the culture. To deep base, we betray you in a poster. You know the facts, so while we test the roaster, killing your haze, deadly handles our exposure, cool composure. Team stack to win the chip, act like I ain't told you. First round, first round. What's good, everybody? It's your boy Piss and Mike. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Don't cost you a nick, not even a nickel or a dime. Get this t-shirt in a link in the description if you want to, to help support your channel and support your boy. Shout out to Alex for always keeping me updated. And go su subscribe to Piss and Wheeler Report. Let's get into today's video. Yeah, man. Yeah. The Piston full schedule has been released, and the Piston only has one televised um game. Boo boo hoo. You know, the NBA ain't gonna never give us our respect that it's due until we take it. Um they did it. They ain't do it until we got to beating the good teams like the Lakers and the old four. Like when we beat Larry Bird, beat Magic Johnson, beat everybody in the 89 and the 90 Pistons. So the bad boy era and the going to work era. So we just going to have to take it. And, you know, it, it's kind of sad, but you expect it. It's Detroit versus everybody. Um, Let's talk about the uh, schedule, though. So the schedule is kind of interesting because the, the, the first month, um, it's real easy, easy winnable games like Orlando, New York, and teams like Indiana. The first um, schedule up until about Halloween is pretty easy, winnable games. We should get off to a hard, oh, um, fast start. But when we go on the road trips in November, November, we're playing all the playoffs teams. So. Through the first 10 games, I would not, I mean, through the first 20 games, I would not be surprised if we 10 and 10. I'm just being honest. We could be lower than that, but that's my prediction. We're probably going to go 10 and 10. Um, it's going to be real interesting. Um, after that, we got a mixed bag of um, good and bad. So I wouldn't be surprised if we won. 35 games this year, maybe 40 at the max. That's kind of where I'm at with it. And I'm just hoping everything, um, we, um, we're going to be fun. We're going to be exciting. It's going to be crazy to see Kay Cunningham, Jaden Ivey on the court together. Oh my gosh. And then you got Marvin Bagley. Everybody's keep on saying he's overpaid. I think he's going to come out and ball out. Um, I can't wait to see Livers take a jump because we all know he's got that grit and grind and he's going to work out, work everybody and just keep on working and becoming a sniper and hopefully be able to take off the dribble some more. And it's going to be real interesting to see what Jalen does in his rookie year. I'm very high on him and in the next couple of years, he's probably going to be one of the better bigs if he, he can put it all together for sure. It's going to be interesting to see what Noel do. I think Alice Burke's going to have a really, really good year. One of probably his better years. I'm going to be surprised he had average 15 to 18, even off the bench. Hamadou Diallo got a lot to prove. Can't wait to see what he does. Um, Yeah, man, it, this team is just loaded. Sadiq Bey is going to have an amazing year. I expect him to average 20 points a game. Nothing less. Shooting better on efficiency. And Isaiah Stewart, man, let's see if that three ball come together. It's all about working together. I do think we're going to take a jump. Probably not super, super big. We'll probably win 10, 15 more games than last year for sure. That's my prediction. That is my ballpark. What do you guys think about us only having one televised game? Is anybody really surprised? No, not really. But we can prove them wrong, and hopefully we can get some free agents to come. If we win 35, 40 games, I think they'll come because Cade and Ivy, 
and the culture we're building and definitely draw some free agents. Y'all don't even think the Pistons were capable of getting. But, yeah, I think they'll start coming. But it's your boy, Piston Mike. Let me know what you think about that. And don't cost you anything, not even a nickel or a dime, to hit that like, comment, and subscribe button. Um, So go subscribe to Piston Weekly Report. Shout out to Alex always keeping me updated, man. I'm out. Peace. Grab tick, had him sick, K Cunningham, ass shot to Duncan, man. I don't know about y'all, but we come to I'm a buzzer grand. They all jump again. Pissed in Mike, we take your flight. Click like and subscribe, we can keep you right. Yeah, it's pissed in Mike.